Now, after being gang raped for 18 months, a young girl from Muradabad, tired of running from pillar to post seeking justice, is now sitting outside the National Commission for Women in the capital in protest. But can the body with absolutely no punitive powers pay heed to her cries? And we've seen the National Commission for Women, and you've even covered uh, that uh, particular agency and how people go to them. They make noises, but they've got no real powers to do anything, absolutely. do they? In the state of Uttar Pradesh, where crimes against women and apathy that follows is the norm rather than an anomaly, the police turn rape victims away and the government turns a deaf ear to those complaints. Where do victims go? Who, does, who do they actually approach? Can they approach anyone even? Yet another gang rape victim, yet another story of justice not delivered so far. This young girl from Muradabad is tired of running from pillar to post. She was gang raped for over 18 months and is sitting on a dharna outside the National Women's Commission. But the panel is toothless and its heads helpless. Look, the case of the Mahila Ayog has been charged with the case of the Mahila Ayog. But I am afraid that the police didn't do anything from there. And I am very afraid that the SP of the Mahila Ayog is saying that the case of the Mahila Ayog is not in my knowledge. We have the SP ऑलरेडी uh, रिमाइंडर भेजा है और uh, अपेक्षा थी कि वो रिमाइंडर में ए टी आर सीख करते हम लोग की एक्शन टेकन रिपोर्ट इन्होंने क्या किया मैं बहुत डिस्टर्ब हूँ और मैं आपको ये भरोसा दिलाना चाहती हूँ कि अभी भी मैंने एसपी को कांटेक्ट किया है वो यही कह रहे कि छुट्टी पे है द यंग गर्ल एंड हर फादर वो किडनेप्ड इन मार्च टू थाउजेंड इलेवन बाई एटीन लोकल गूंस टू ऑफ होम द विक्टिम क्लेम्स आर लोकल बी एस पी लीडर्स आफ्टर शी वॉज रिलीज बाई हर टॉमेंटर्स She approached the cops, who refused to act. डेढ़ साल तक जब उसने अपना अपना जब हमारे पास कुछ नहीं रहा उसके लिए जाती मैं परेशान हो गई जब उसने मुझे वहाँ से निकल कर भागे हम. The young woman has been beseeching both the UP government and the women's panel for help. The NCW has now set up a three-member panel. But will the Uttar Pradesh government or police administration pay heed to their report? On one hand, UP police is turning a blind eye, while a toothless National Commission for Women is helpless, refusing to act against the errant cop. In such a situation, can the rape victim hope for justice? With camera person Parminder Sharma, this is Supratim Banerjee in Delhi for headlines today.